passport control, I had to smash the guy's lights out. He was debating that I wasn't the person in the photograph. I mean, I'm not the person in the photograph. I cut out a picture of Tom Hanks and put it in there. But he said I wasn't him, and I'm not having that. I have any Icelandic guy telling me I'm not Tom Hanks. If I want to be Tom Hanks, I will be Tom Hanks. So there's apparently a bounty on my head at the moment. No jokes about chocolate, please, because that's just crass and inane. And I'm now going to get my baggage and then cause some kind of religious uproar in Iceland. I'm, I'm at BSE and I'm just walking to the guest house I'm staying at. I've got rid of um, Jimmy and, and Joe. I don't want to talk to them anymore. I've been giving it quite a lot, quite a lot of verbal since we got here. It's been horrible and I just couldn't take any more. So I've got to walk off and I'm going to meet them again in half an hour and they've calmed Checked down. In. I've got a big double bed. I've got the room right next to the entrance, which as long as the people aren't drunk, we'll be okay. Says he's already had two shots. <laughs> um, there is a body underneath the bed in my room. It's starting to smell a bit, but you know, you get used to it and it's, it's a kind of Icelandic way. I thought I might, might do, even though vegetarian, you know, you've got to live as the locals live. I thought I might possibly scrape a bit off later tonight and have a little munch on someone's face. Phobia, even in Iceland. Look at this. Don't they know you can't make someone be a gay bench or not? You just are. There's a very complicated um, toilet system here in Iceland. If we look up the sewage pipes up there. See, basically what happens is that the Icelanders have um, an obsession with poo. And if you drop a turd in one of those pipes, it shoots out the other end and then the suck of another one blows it in. And you can be there for half an hour just watching this one piece of shit just pounding out in and out of it. And this is in their church. It's disgraceful. We're, we're in Mocha and this is the, the filth we've been served. Honestly, I asked for ram's testicles and I came up with this. I'm feeling really ripped off. We've arrived at Harpa. Now you may not be aware if you've not seen this building before. It's actually a natural geological formation. It's, it's made out of, out of natural plastics that have risen out of the ground. Uh, it, it's some kind of strange procedure that, that happens when, when molten lava meets art. And that, I mean, that, that figure there is also a natural feature. And there's Joe and Jimmy just sort of like doing a photo shoot for their first album. I've been lying on my back in Harper for half an hour now, and this has been my view of the ceiling. It's very psychedelic and uh, there have been some unicorns that have been flying past. I know they're real unicorns because they've been shitting rainbows. We're down by the sunboat now. Obviously this, this was a living creature and it was fossilised and they, they found it uh, in the harbour a few years ago. Don't know what period it came from. I'm talking, it's important. And um, I, I presume it used to eat people with those, those prong things there. I think it was known as the Fork Beast. Were you going to say something? Oh, no, no, it's got to come out as fast. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't going to be funny. You're not as funny as me. I'm, I'm, I'm a lot funnier. It's a general, yeah, it's, it's a general thing that people say. Not that I'm funny, that you're not funny. Oh, yeah, no, I got that. Okay. It's, it's the Yorkshire thing. Yeah, too busy having brewing a bat. <laughs> yeah. There we are, that's, that's the sun, but look, my fingers could be part of it, look at that. If I turn this black and white, it'd, it'd be a freaky, multi-fingered thing. Look at that. Does, that, does that scare you? If you're not, have to bring my hand closer. Look how frightening that looks now. I'd be scared. I would be shitting my pants if I was me right now. We're sitting in Vegamot now, about to eat, and the staff have been awful. 
they've been throwing furniture at us. They told Jimmy to get out because he's from Harrogate. And what they well, they made Joe tell them what her favourite colour was. And it's a bit out of order. Bill Parrot is about to see the witch, uh, also known as um, you. I have just come out of seeing the witch at Bio Parodies and uh Whoa. Whoa. Um That was a uh, a blow round the head of a film. Yeah. Not many laughs. Good morning, it is Sunday the 17th of April 2016. As you can see, the storm is not abating here in Reykjavik. There's still a, a massive blizzard and gales. It's absolutely freezing cold, pouring down with rain and hail. The weather's so screwed up that last night the Northern Lights came to Earth and three people were killed by its radiation. That's half the population of Reykjavik. So it's looking pretty quiet this morning. I'm going to meet with uh, Jimmy and Joe to have breakfast at Grey Catherine, which is uh, where they all go for breakfast. It's no good for me because about the only thing they sell that's vegetarian is, is toast. But toast is good. Toast is good for you. Eat toast. It's bread. There's been some crazy shit with the Northern Lights coming to Earth last night. An alien spaceship has landed and you can just see the top of it there. And you can hear that it's kind of strange, haunting cry just ringing out over the rooftops of Reykjavik. Um, what did happen that the top of it screwed off earlier on and a death ray came out of it. I've just blown half my holiday budget on a huge collection of comedy Harmonist 78s. Yes, I have. Am I going to make back the entire cost of the holiday on selling those 78s? We're in the Kolopotith and Jimmy's just really ruined one of the traders days by, by getting his hopes up about saying he'd think about a camera lens that he was trying to sell him. I have thought about it. Yeah, but you had no intention of buying it. Not that. No, I had intention of thinking about it. It's just a bit, just a bit mean, a bit nasty, a bit, I'd have thought a bit beneath him, but it clearly isn't. It's quite windy. I've just met with uh, Iva at Breslant. And um, and he said that uh, the alien landing that happened last night after the radiation from the Northern Lights, he said the three people that were killed, apparently they were foreigners, so um, you know it, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going off to Harper now to see a couple of photographic exhibitions before meeting up with everyone at six o'clock when we are going to sacrifice a dog to Odin. Apparently that's uh, something they do. I'm at Harper again. I'm going to go in and see a photographic exhibition. Don't be fooled by the lovely sunny weather. The temperature is actually minus 80 degrees. People have died just walking past me. It's been quite funny. I'm not going to see those exhibitions in Harper because I went in and the cost is 85,000 kroner to see each exhibition, which is about 9,000 pounds. So they can stuff it. David Bowie's dead anyway. That's your responsible. I hope you're happy about it. You sick bastard. I'm waiting for Jimmy and Joe at the junction of the uh, and the right now. And I've been here for about four or five hours. And I've, I've seen nations rise and fall in that time. The aliens that landed last night and killed three people with, uh, three tourists with the, um, the radiation from the Northern Lights, they, they have come and gone already. They, there's been a kind of whole, um, what do you call it? Evolution, that is what I was looking for. And, you know, and they've evolved into chairs and they've gone again. It's, it's been a very long time, very long time, very long time, very long time, it's been a very long time, it's a very long time, I've been waiting for him for a very long time. Having a strange pizza, 
this will be a pizza that's made out of turnips and it's going to be topped with sea. We've been sitting in here now for seven and a half hours and they've not even brought the starters yet. Seeing the joy of this Icelandic holiday, the unbridled delight that just overcomes everybody when they stay here. Look, look at the happiness. It's brilliant. What a wanker. Three shots later at Cafe Baron, walking back to the guest house. Would I say I'm drunk? No. No, I wouldn't. There's a very slight swimming of the head, that's all. But, um, contented. This is none of your business. You should still be distraught about the fact that three people that no one cares about were killed by aliens by landing in the Northern Lights. Nope. Just sitting there, watching, as if anybody cares. Um, and someone just seen me walk past talking to a camera and now thinks that... You know, that I shouldn't be here. And that's your fault. Win for me. Just walked into a supermarket that's still open at gone 11 o'clock on a Sunday and got some chocolate skier. Chocolate skier. It's uh, uh. quite amazing. The aliens have um, they've set fire to the top of their rocket ship. Look. God. That means they're going to blow up the world soon. It is Monday the 18th of April. We are at Burkina's uh, on the way to Stiglifjörde and as usual here it's beautifully not windy at all. I'm going to go in there and buy some shit. It's quite cold. We're at Baranathos and there's still snow and stuff on the ground around here and um, you might have seen the water there. It's actually, it's where um, comfort fabric conditioner comes from. It seeps out of the rocks here and they bottle it up and they send it overseas. It's actually an Icelandic delicacy. They, they like to drink it uh, with just one ice cube in it and uh, it, it makes their insides lovely and fluffy. And there's the other three over there. They're about to throw Linus in. It's an anti-Belgian day. Uh, so there's all the fabric conditioner seeping out the rocks down there. And there's just one little old lady down there and she gets all of it and puts it into little plastic bottles and sends it overseas. Jim's been called by the, the voices from beyond and we're following him blindly into the interior. Walking over the dragon poo. It's amazing because round here it looks just like it does around the corner we just walked from. Except muddier. This is a sewage outlet pipe of all the American and German tourists currently having a wee in Reykjavik. It stinks. Absolutely stinks of German sausage and American hot dogs and and poo. I don't, I don't know if it's doing a poo in your eye and all, but you stop it now. Stop it now. Jim's contemplating whether to jump in or not. Jump in. Jump in. Come on, no one likes anyone from Yorkshire. Jump jump in the river. Come on. Oh, he's chicken out. I hate him. I hate him so much. Standing in another bit now. We're at uh, Hoenfasser. Of course we are, you say. That's where all the waterfalls just come out of the mountain, caused by magic. I'm not visiting the south side of Chicago. <laughs> Joe's visited a murder site. She went in there and she said, Oh, I can feel the spirits in here. And she started laughing. We're at Snorri's pool. He hasn't cleaned it for ages because he's dead. We're inside the church at Drey Cult now. There's... Yeah. 
That's a seat for Jim there, but he's not here. There's Jesus thinking he's Chris Martin of Coldplay. We are now halfway to the moon. We left Earth's orbit about five days ago. And we're, we're somewhere up in the sky, somewhere. That was the sound of aliens knocking on the, the hatch of our spacecraft. Outside there you see that this space is made entirely of cocaine. And the temperature outside is about minus 3,000 degrees. Even, even space freezes out there. We're in Siglifjord now. There's been so many bodies floating in the fjord already. I mean, we've had to build a bridge out of them. It's been ridiculous. I'm full. Oh, I'm full. Unless you push me, you Belgian oh. bastard. Look, snow. Look at this, snow. That's snow, that is. Snow. Ah, you arse of, you arse of Satan. I'll just say what, what Linus has just done. He's just shot me in the head. Snow. The Shitting crikey, the church bell's just rung. I there's some kind of... They stopped singing, they were walking past the window. Listen. They're singing in there. I think... They're, they're building a wicker man in there. They've, they've put Edward Woodward in it and they set fire to it, a load of farm animals. Finally, there's strangers in town. I'm Fine. sitting in a new restaurant in Siglifjörde with the snow outside with these three googling the words to I'm a little teapot and there's no Wi-Fi signal. Look around Siglifjörde right now. How many dead bodies do you see? Look at the moon. That is the moon. It is moon. Moon. Listen to the sound me walking up the steps. That's ice cracking on the metal. It's crazy. Here's Sigla Fjorda on Tuesday morning. That's Jim. He's forgotten how to walk around stairs. That's where we're staying. That's my room on the extreme right. That, that one there, that's my room. And that window next to it. Up there is a mountain. Wasn't there last night? Did that scare you? I've got an icicle. Next to the toothpick. And as a murder weapon. And as a makeshift moustache. All the things you could possibly need in Iceland are covered by this one thing. Look at this place, it's awful. Even the birds are mocking us. Why did you bring us here, Joe? I cannot begin to tell you how inedible this cream and meringue and caramel and oat dessert is. It's really, really bad. I wouldn't, but who could eat that? Who in their right mind will get them? It's 
really bad. I don't want to eat that. Oh. Bad news. Don't look at it. Or, or that. No hot chocolate either. Here's some fun. When we arrived last night, that door didn't exist in our building where we're staying. It was just a wall and they've actually cut through and put a door in it today. All thanks to monks. Hello monks. Have you had a good time this, this time so far? Why didn't you enjoy it? Could you have been kept in a bag and have hardly ever brought you out except to annoy people? Well, here's what you do. 25 past 10 in Sigliefjöda and we're walking back down towards the guest house we've been staying at. Really like this town. It was nutmeg. It was, it was nutmeg? Yeah. The town was nutmeg. It was various spices but nutmeg especially. But that was only With today. The pleasure of cinnamon as well. Yeah, and raisins, and which could be rock. mouse poo. I'd say don't ask, but you're not going to anyway. So it's Wednesday morning, and as I wake up, open my eyes, that's the first thing I see out the window. Oh, it's okay. That's all right. That's my foot. It has to be out the other window. It is Wednesday. But you know that because the clip that you just saw. Um, leaving Sigurd today and going to Delvik and Hrise. And just going off for breakfast uh, before going. But you can see how awful the weather's been since we've been here. Look at that. Constant blizzard. We're leaving Sigurd quite sad about that. Got, I'm not going to miss the smell of fish, but look, got a bag of these. We've been going through this tunnel to Dalvik now for three and a half hours at a general speed of about 150 miles an hour. So here we are at Dalvik. As you see, it's crap, just like Siglifjord, there was crap full of disgusting industrial buildings, heaving with thousands of screaming tourists. Vile, dirty, filthy, smelly piece of crap. I hate it here. I hate you. And I hate your stupid watching this, this bloody video. We're going off to Hrise again in the winter, except it's not the winter, but it's snowy. Uh, that's the national language. We're on the boat, it's not left yet. say but you knew that because I've already said it look those are buildings we've lost Jim and Joe already in the crowd as Jim just found look open your mind tread softly entering a world of energy and harmony which will renew both body and soul discover in this place a healing and life-giving force that flows around you feel the energy of life surge within you so I'm gonna take my life in my hands now and walk into this strange area Oh, I'm feeling different already. Oh, I think I just farted. But yeah, I can, I can feel, definitely, I can feel the force. Can you feel the force? I, I can feel the force. This is a magical area. I can, I can 
Can you feel the magic? It's a kind of magic. But there we are. Amazing. That that is force. Alternatively, it's just some rock and someone's dug out a little crater in front of it. <gasps> it's a kelpie. It's a quiet healing place. I can feel my missing leg growing back already. This is where we get to the bit where we're <laughs> the thing that kind of concerned me that we're leaving the main path and now walking in areas that are uncharted. <laughs> okay, that's just gone up to to my shin. So what's going on here? Hello, Mum. <laughs> yeah, it's safe. Of course it's safe. No, no one's walked on this for days. Well, shit. <laughs> We're doing something stupid, kids. Jimmy's making us do it. We're walking around the whole circular route around the island. And at times the snow's gone up above my knees. What are we doing? We are the people that we laugh at when we see these tourist reports of people doing stupid things in Iceland. And you're watching it. Twisted. The path is so filled with snow. We're now walking over the hills to get back to the village where there's not much, much snow but lots of bobbly mossy bits. These were the legends of the Blair Witch started. We're all going to die, kids. Oh, the shit. Shit view from here in Harise at the top of the island, having walked through all these snow banks up to my knees in snow. Not out of breath at all, not at all. That's why they hang people. Stupid monkey bastard. This is mental. Ray. This is mental. Why? Joe's going through Icelandic magazines translating um, well. what the captions say simply based on her her own views of what the photos dictate. This is like reading a picture book and making our own story up really. Music producer. Roxy's well, got glasses on. No, they just look like they're well established. Okay. Music producer. He could be a martial arts expert. He could be. And a music producer. They've fallen in love. You, you don't know that. I don't see they've noted his age. He's 43. She's 24. Co-stars have fallen in love. Mm -hmm. We're leaving Harise now. Had enough of stuff. Place that's where we've been sitting having a coffee. We just had a, a nice, nice pizza. 
no one else even walked by, let alone came in. The whole two hours were in there. Nice guy running it. I think it might snow later on. Do you think it might snow later? Uh, Blue skies. View out the window at Delvic on Thursday morning. Shit, I fly back tomorrow. And this is the cabin that we stayed in last night. Comfy enough, small, basic, but it would do. I slept here on this sofa. This is the cabin we stayed in last night. Jimmy and Joe stayed in there. Snow. We're in Accuary, they're about to drop me off at the airport, but there's an hour before. Shut your face, Belgian. But there's an hour before they've got to do that, so Jimmy demanded that Linus wasn't so callous and allowed me this last bit of freedom before I have to go back to Reykjavik and then somewhere else. And Jimmy's a dick, so. Yeah, but yeah, he was a nice one in this scenario. Yeah, we'll get a bit of lunch somewhere. Yeah. That's where we just ate in Akimeri. They drive me off to the airport now. There's a definite finality to this, even though I'm shut up. Even though I'm not leaving Iceland till tomorrow. Gentlemen, on behalf of Air Iceland, I welcome you aboard this flight to Reykjavik. Yes, the regular flying time is 40 minutes and the pilot in command attention is and have a pleasant flight. Tossing Lucy, you first had a ribbon of a slaughter of flute tuck. Will you bend the crow all? Yes, you share for all side tickers. Lights in the cabin are dim for takeoff, but reading lights on the service panel above your seat. It's going to be time to go back soon. It's Thursday night. I'm in my room at Iglo. Looking out the window with monks. You didn't do much this time, did you? Stupid monkey bastard. In the departure lounge at Keflavik. Sometime past five o'clock in the morning different every time I come here. I've done another refit. The uh, DVD and music thing is gone. Which is a pain. Guess I've got to go and do the business. Thank you for watching my lovely holiday video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now bugger off. <laughs>